Hi there. Today I am going to do another um, another birch tree swipe, but this time I'm just going to start off with a swipe. And last time I did a dirty cup or a flip cup and then a swipe, so I'm going to just do a swipe. And I'm going to use uh, really bright colors, uh, yellow. Um, this is magenta and an orange. It's kind of like a red orange. <clears throat> and I'm using acrylic paints and also uh, Liquitex um, acrylic ink. I added about 10 drops of each color in there in the paints. And then I have my white. So I'm just going to start laying the colors down. I'm using just some thin um, plastic sheets to swipe with.
getting rid of, rid of the air bubbles. So my painting's dry now and I'm just going to mark down the trees with pencils. Uh, first the trunks and then I'm going to draw in the branches. So I just randomly picked an area areas where I wanted trees and where I wanted black negative space. So. just show you a few things and then I will um, speed it up okay. I've marked where I wanted the tree so I'm just gonna I'm going to do this so it's easier for myself. I'm just going to randomly put branches, draw in the branches, and then uh, I will be painting the, the, the um, in between the trees black. So, where should I start? So I have finished drawing in all the um, branches and the trunk, tree trunks, if you can see them. Just kind of randomly drew in the, all the branches. So now I'm just going to paint um, in the... Um, oh God. 
paint in the negative space here um, and then not paint the branches up so that the color shows through. So I'm going to begin that and I won't be taping all of it. I'll just start and then stop for a bit and then continue on because it'll be a really long video if I if I do the whole thing on on video. So And I'm just using uh, black tape right from the uh, bottle. It's a Flow Acrylic Artist Loft. So, um, More than likely I'll have to do two coats of this black so I won't be showing my second coat just the first parts of the first And if any of the pencil line still shows, I will just erase it.
So I did a little bit of this off camera um, and now I'm going to do a couple more um, and then I'll off camera again and then I'll do the end of it on camera because it does it is very time consuming so okay so I had to run up and turn the radio off so I'll have to um, repeat myself what I just went through I did some some of this off camera and now I'm going to do a couple more rows on camera and then I'll go off again and then I'll do the end of it on camera. So um, people were asking if I use a, uh, st a stencil for the trees and no I don't. I just randomly drew lines down here where I wanted all the tree trunks, you know, different widths, different sizes. Um, and then I just Mm, just drew in where I thought branches should be. That's it, really. It's pretty easy. Uh, also, the lady, the I, I found this idea from a lady that posted one on hers on Facebook. And her name is Lynette Nielsen. I really, really liked her, hers, so... I wanted to try it myself and I, I told her I was going to try it. She said, she said, go ahead. So this is my second one. It, um, you need like a real fine brush for up for doing inside the branches. I have this one here that I'm working with. It's fine. I have a, I don't know, I didn't mean to use that one. That's too small. I have this one here that I've been using and it seems okay. Um, this one here is okay too, but it's too fine so I've, I'm not using it and then when I do the bottom I'm going to use a bigger one a little bit bigger one And if I didn't draw the lines the way I wanted them to look, I just kind of fix them up as I go here. Oops, I need to fix this. I don't like the way they look when I start painting them in from what I drew. I just fix them up. It's easy to do. I've only been doing abstract art for the last couple years. Pouring really got me going on it. I'm um, more of a realistic artist. Realist. I love to do real fine, delicate work, uh, especially pencil drawing. I have a few pieces on my website. And then I work in ink as well, pen and ink, doing uh, pointillism, I've done that. And I've even worked, started doing scratch board, which is very fine work. I love it.
I can stop for a minute. No, I'm... Give me a minute. Just put my brush in my drinking water. <laughs> so I'll be drinking that. So I finished the this part of it, and now I've just have to um, paint in the little marks on the trees, the black marks, to make it look like it's more uh, round, and just you know, little black imperfections that are on uh, birch trees. So, also I wanted to mention I didn't mention how I prepped the canvas before I started painting the black on. All I did was um, sprayed some alcohol on um, a paper towel and then just wiped it just to make sure there's no um, nothing from the uh, coconut uh, coconut serum left on the canvas and it's pretty good it's nothing nothing was on it really so it was pretty good so that's it and now I'm just gonna mark those trees and. I might fast forward through some of this for you. Well, I definitely will. So. Okay, so I'm just gonna just randomly put marks on the trees. Nothing.
Okay, that's it. It's finished, and I will, um, once it's dry, I need to erase all the pencil marks, and then I will come back to show you what, uh, the final results. I'll see you in a bit. Hello. So today I'm going to uh, finish this one off. I'm going to erase all the pencil lines on my canvas. And then I'm going to, um, later on, I'm going to do a chain pull. I'm going to get back to um, doing chain pulls and string pulls. So um, it won't be on this video. It will be more than likely on my next one. So, yeah, I haven't done anything like that for a bit. So, so all I'm doing here is I have a, an eraser. And I am just easily erases the pencil lines that we don't see anything at all. This is a canvas, so you have to, I'm just trying to be a little careful in the middle. So this is the dried results. It dried really nice. I did the blacks, I did, uh, sorry, I uh, painted the sides black. Uh, just zoom in for a little bit of a close-up. So if you uh, enjoy my videos, um, you can click the like button and hit the bell if you want notifications of when I... Um, do a new video and um, um, subscribe if you uh, haven't already. So anyway, have a great day. Uh, the <laughs> reason I'm shaking right now is I'm in my sunroom and it's freezing in here. So, but it's a nice place to take. Uh, whoa, it's a great place to take pictures. It's nice and bright. Anyway. Um, I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye for now.